Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can extract metals using biological techniques such as bioleaching and phytoextraction. If we start off with bioleaching then, nice and simply, bioleaching is using bacteria to remove metals from their compounds, from their ores. A key example of using bioleaching is extracting copper from copper sulfide. So the bacteria used in bioleaching gets its energy from the bonds between copper and sulfide and it splits the ore up into copper and sulfur. When the copper is extracted from copper sulfide, it turns into something called a leachate. A leachate is a solution that contains the copper ions. You can then use your normal displacement reactions, so for example putting in scrap iron to extract and displace the copper, giving you your pure copper. Now the advantage of using bioleaching is it doesn't produce any harmful gases. It also doesn't damage the landscape because you're not having to mine the metal and it conserves your higher grade ores. You can actually use this to, to get your lower grade ones, the ones that normally wouldn't be profitable. You can just put some bacteria in and it will produce your metals for you, which is a lot cheaper. And it also works at a lot lower temperature, which means less energy is needed, which means it's, again, cheaper and more cost effective. There are a few negatives, however. It's a very, very slow process, so you're gonna to have to leave it on the side for a long time to produce what you need. And although it doesn't produce any harmful gases, it can also produce toxic chemicals and things like sulfuric acid. Okay, if we move on to phytoextraction then. Phytoextraction is nice and simply growing plants that contain metal compounds within them. Now, if you put the metal into the plant, when it grows, the metal can't go anywhere, so it ends up building up in the leaves. So when you burn it in a furnace, it'll turn into ashes. You can then separate the metals found in the ashes by displacement or electrolysis. Now the advantage of phytoextraction, similar to bioleaching, it doesn't produce any harmful gases, doesn't damage the landscape, and it conserves your higher grade ores. It also means that you can extract metals from contaminated soil nice and easily without any negative side effects. Again, the problem is that it's very slow, and sometimes it can actually cost more than extracting some ores by mining. And then finally, as with anything to do with plants, it depends on the weather. If you've got bad weather, if it's icy, if it's frosty, if it's too hot, the plants won't grow and therefore the process does not work. Okay, that's quite a lot to take in, so you might want to go back and just check through what I've just talked about. Or if you're feeling confident, we can go straight on to the questions. So the first one is describe how metal ores can be extracted by bioleaching. Three marks, so you're thinking at least three points. How can it be done by phytoextraction? Again, three marks. And then questions three and four are give me the advantages and disadvantages. Question three for bioleaching and question four for phytoextraction. So pause the video, think through what we've talked about and have a go at answering each question. Okay, let's have a look and see how you've done. So question one says, describe how ores can be extracted by bioleaching. So nice and simply, the first thing you want to talk about is it uses bacteria, gets its energy from the bonds, and it makes something called a leachate. So that's three marks. There are a couple of things that you could have said. The metal is then extracted by displacement using scrap iron. On to phytoextraction. Plants grown that contain metal compounds is your first marking point. The metal builds up in the leaves, they're then burned in a furnace, metals are found in the ashes, and finally it can be extracted by displacement or electrolysis. On to question three. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of using bioleaching instead of electrolysis. What I was looking for here for four marks, two advantages and two disadvantages. So if we start off with the advantages, no harmful gas is formed, doesn't damage the landscape, conserves higher grade ores, and works at low temperatures. So any two of those would have got you your first two marks. And then your disadvantages, it's very slow, it can produce toxic chemicals, and it can also produce sulfuric acid. So any two of those will get you your two disadvantages for a total of four marks. And very similar with the phyto extraction, two advantages and two disadvantages. No harmful gases again, doesn't damage the landscape again, conserves higher grade ores, and can retrieve metals from contaminated soils. And then finally, the disadvantages is very slow. It can cost more than extraction from electrolysis sometimes, and crop growth is dependent on the weather. 
That's the end of this video. I have a review question for you, which is compare the advantages and disadvantages of using bioleaching and phytoextraction, explaining why they can be beneficial to use instead of electrolysis. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.